So um, some of you will remember Silicon Graphics, SGI. Mm -hmm. Great company. Uh, they were headquartered in Mountain View. I remember uh, uh, back in the day, uh, actually where Google headquarters is today, walk, uh, being invited to a, uh, an event with Jesse, Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson was speaking, and I walked in there. I was blown away with the food spread that they had. That was like one of the companies to work for. Sun Microsystem is another one, mm -hmm. okay? And we can go on the list. My point to bring, uh, bring these companies up is that <coughs> some of them are no longer around, or they got bought out by another company. And in my opinion, some of these darlings, tech companies that we are, some of us are enamored and want to go work for, uh, for 10, 20 years down the road, they're probably not gonna be that shining star anymore. And we need to position ourselves so that we can transition. The other thing too that I believe is, is that just like in professional sports, um, our positions have a certain shelf life. Some have a short shelf life, others have a long shelf life. And the, the day of reckoning will come, okay? I realized that when I worked in tech that um, I was hitting the top of my pay scale and whatever company uh, it was could hire a younger person, probably straight out of college, maybe even do a better job than I was doing for a lot less, okay? And so three things that I encourage you to do, whether you are actively looking or you are happily at your company, uh, is number one, build your professional brand. What does that mean? Your professional brand is what people think or say about you when you're not around. What do you want them to say about you? Number two is build and nourish relationships. It blows me away how, as a job seeker, we reach out to our network when we need or we're looking for a job. But let me ask you this. How many of you like it when your friends or relatives reach out to you when they need to borrow money or a car? None of us do. Then why do you do it to your network? Why do you act like this typical salesperson, the Kirby vacuum salesperson? Don't do that. Always be building and nourishing relationships. Ken and I, he actually hired me in the board at the chamber. And I felt comfortable reaching out to him and asking him to be on this panel with Brian and so forth. But it was because we've been able to maintain and nourish that relationship. That relationship. Even though we haven't talked in a while. But we talk to him and it's like, it's like talking to a brother. Hey, yo, what's up, Ken? The former mayor of Mountain View. You don't just talk to a former mayor like that. Just call me a brother. <laughs> <laughs> but build and nourish relationships. The third thing is um, position yourself as a thought leader in whatever industry it is that you're in. What do I mean by thought leader? If you're in real estate, be the mayor of your town or your community. Get to know your community, in and out. What is your community known for? What events are going on? Who are the key players and influencers? Okay, and be able to share that information with people 